Oh, oh, hello there. Yes, I am Mark from the uh, Disney company. And I have a big project for you because you are a fantastic illustrator. I have not looked at your portfolio. So I just got scammed. Well, almost. Scammers are the worst. The worst. I personally found out that scammers are now targeting artists. And boy, did I get taken for a ride. And today we're going to talk about what happened to me and hopefully you can avoid the scam as well. Well, hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you are brand new here, I'm artist Nicholas Jackson. I'm based in northern Minnesota. And I'm going to talk to you about how I got scammed. Well, almost got scammed. I'm going to tell you this kind of cautionary tale so that you will have the tools to kind of avoid this yourself. So I was on a job board looking for some work. I got a message from a rather large company expressing some interest in me taking on a job for them. So here's the scam. Wow, aren't you just a fantastic illustrator? I think you, you should paint me a pretty picture. And I, you know, I work from for the, the, the Disney company. Yes, yeah, and uh, it's legit. And we have a big project for you. And uh, I think you should start on right away. Here is a cashier's check because that's how Disney works. We pay people with cashier's checks. Only cashier's checks. Oh, guess what? We have canceled uh, that part of the contract. Could you send us a refund? And, uh, and immediately. Yes, please, immediately. Because without that, um, my dog will die. And my brother is in jail. And my mustache wax fund is depleted. This, this emergency. It's a real project. It, it, it really is. It's legit. It really is legit. I mean, I mean, why wouldn't it be legit? All right, so what's going on? So scammers are hitting people left and right, you get them on your phone, you get them on your computer, you get uh, voice messages. Well, what's happening right now is that scammers are out to get illustrators and artists specifically. Turned out that I got a an email saying that it was in fact a freelance job and they wanted to get started right away. And so I was I was excited. This was great. Um, and they sent me the list of all the different uh, illustrations they needed with the descriptions and everything kind of, you know, seemed in order. I sent over a contract. They signed it. Things were moving along pretty quickly. What you're going to hear in this tale is a variety of small to maybe big red flags that slowly led me to be really concerned about this project. And the first flag was that they offered a little bit more than normal. Um, they typically I have to kind of, you know, counter with with what my rates are, but this was higher than my typical rates. And um, that was kind of the first red flag. Now, this isn't always the case, but when you start putting these red flags together, you're going to see, oh, wow. OK, this is what's going on. So they signed the check, sent it to me in the mail. I got it and it was for more than what we had agreed upon. And uh, I contacted them. They said, well, hey, we love what you're doing. Your your contract that you sent us was so professional. There's a second part of this project that we wanted you to take on. And so we've just included that in your check and we're going to send you the details for that um, project as well. All right. So here is the first big red flag. It was a cashier's check. If you get a cashier's check, red flag immediately. Now, here's what's crazy about cashier's checks. The funds have to be by law in your account by a certain amount of time. You can't just take forever, wait for the check to go through the whole system and clear. So your bank will put that amount into your checking account and later it can just be gone because the check bounces. So if you're getting a cashier's check, I would recommend waiting like a month, if not more, for those funds to be there for sure. So I saw this this cashier's check. I'm, I, I, I wanted to verify its integrity. And so I looked at the check and, and saw the name of the bank. You know, when things started to look a little bit strange, I even just called this person and I started to realize there were some more red flags coming along. First of all, it was a Gmail account. This was a large company they were working for. Why are they working out of a Gmail account? And second, they're, they were calling from a Google voice number. With a large company like this, that just doesn't really make sense. I spoke to him on the phone. We talked about the project a little bit, why there was an additional project added, and things still seemed just a little bit weird. So I called the bank on the check. I didn't use any numbers from the check, but I went to the FDIC, the FDIC website, 
and looked up the bank, found the contact information and called them. And I kind of was like, ma'am, I think I have a, a fraudulent check. And this lady was super helpful. She said, no worries, we're gonna look up this check. Uh, she, she took the numbers down, including the routing number, the check number, and the account number. I waited on hold for maybe just a few minutes and she came back and said, guess what, yep, this check is not legit. It's not real, it's gonna bounce. Oh, my heart just sank. And I've been really excited about this project. And the prospect of having even another project was kind of leading me on and I was getting excited about it. In fact, I even started working on the project a little bit to get some initial sketches because it was kind of a rushed timeline. You know, during the process, I ended up talking to my bank and saying, you know what, I, I have deposited this check. I think it's fraudulent, what do I do? Well, they couldn't do anything until, until the check cleared and we had just wait a couple days. Now it only took, I think two or three days, the check bounced. We knew that it was wrong. They had flagged and we were kind of watching it. And so when it bounced, they just said, hey, yep, we were right, it bounced. They asked me for a refund. They said the second part of the project was canceled. You can keep the first part, but we need you to send the second part back to us as a refund. And they of course wanted the cashier's check or money order or cash app. They didn't want a regular check, but that's how it works. The person getting scammed would send the money back to them before that check bounce. And you end up sending them thousands of dollars before you ever realize that you've been scammed. Fortunately, because I had so many red flags, I didn't send them any money. I just waited for this to kind of process. A couple days, they would reach out asking if I had sent the refund. And, you know, I, I was kind of during the whole time, I was like, you know, I don't do money orders. I don't do cashier's checks. I can send a regular check, but they, they kind of kept pushing and pushing. And um, they would check back in a couple days. And finally, I just told them when the check actually did bounce, I said, hey, the check has bounced. We can't start a project until I am, I'm paid in full. I've never heard from them since. But that is what can happen if you're not vigilant. That's kind of the story of how I almost got scammed in an art scam, an illustrator specific art scam. So it's out there. That's why I wanted to tell you about it today. If you are an illustrator or artist, be on the lookout. And so here are the things that you can be watching out for and any, and these are the red flags and offer to pay up front. Now, this is a little bit difficult because I like to work in the method of being paid upfront or at least 50% upfront. Now, if someone is just offering that, that's a great thing, but it should just kind of be like, oh, let me put the stick that in the back of my head. What's going on here? Number two, prices are higher than industry standards. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Number three is paying via cashier's check or money order or some other form that's not a credit card and that's not a direct, you know, direct deposit or, well, hopefully it wouldn't be a direct deposit. Don't ever give anybody your bank account information. So if it's, if it's a cashier's check or money order, that's a red flag. Number four is email addresses or contact information that don't match up with the company they're claiming to be. If you are working with a large company and they have a at gmail.com address, that's a red flag. Also watch out for the phone numbers. Are the phone numbers a little bit weird? Are they calling from multiple phone numbers? Because sometimes these scammers have a lot of numbers that they use and maybe they've forgotten which one they initially contacted you with. An offer for extra work is another red flag, especially if you haven't even completed it. And the number one red flag, this is the most important red flag, is asking for a refund. If anybody asks you for a refund immediately after you've started a project, that's a red flag you need to stop. Do not send people money. I can't stress that enough. If someone wants a refund, they need to wait. You need to wait a long time. I'm talking like over a month. Now I'm not a professional you know, banker. I can't give you that kind of insight, but I can tell you just be extremely cautious if somebody offers you to give you a big project and then wants a refund. So what can you do about these scams? First thing is just to wait to give a refund for at least 30 days, if not 60 days. If someone wants a refund after a project that they've initiated, 
they can wait. Don't start working on a project until you get paid. Whether that's partial or in full, do not start working. And certainly don't give them any sort of files until they have paid you. The next one would be to stick to your prices. If something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. And make sure that the contract looks legit. Look up the address that they've given you. When I was given an address, it went to like some sort of random apartment complex in LA. If you get a cashier's check, call the bank. Don't use any numbers to call a bank on, a, on the check as that could be the scammer <laughs> answering the phone. But go to the FDIC website, look up the information for that bank and call them and ask about that uh, particular check. Give them the check number and the account number as and of course the routing number for that bank. They will check it for you and they will let you know if it is indeed a, a real check. I've mentioned this a couple times. Do not send any sort of refund. Don't do it. Always make sure to get some sort of money up front when you're taking on commissions. I recommend 100% of the commission, but at least do some sort of percentage. So it's really too bad that we have to be watching out for scammers, but that's the reality of what's going on out there. And I'm hoping that this warning can help you avoid these art scams. So if this video was helpful to you today, go ahead and hit the like button and let me know in the comments if you've experienced any sort of scams, whether it's art related or just in general. Also in the comments, let me know if you would have any additional tips for others in regards to scams and how to avoid them. Also, if you are an artist and you struggle with self-doubt, I just did a video that kind of addresses this is issue about discouragement and doubting yourself as an artist. Go ahead and check that out. In some other news, I'm also starting some online art classes where you can join me live and we can interact and talk and learn some art techniques. Make sure to check them out in the description below. Remember that you are valuable and that you're loved. We'll see you next time. Hi, yes, I, I would like to order some art, please. I'm not a scammer. I, I don't ever scam anybody. I, I haven't ever even stolen a toothpick from, from my work. I work, and my work is legit. I work at a legit company. Yes, it's Disney. I work at Disney Microsoft, and I would like to order some art from you, please. Thank you. But I will need a refund because the project has been canceled. So could you send that right away? Yeah, right now. Oh, don't, don't, don't wait till tomorrow.